everyone, I'm Jen Jacobson of LiveLastStamp.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute project. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute card. Now there's a couple elements on here that I want to talk to you about. Um, this was a card that my girls made at Card Club this month and they loved it. Um, we did some embossing on the side, um, paper embossing through the Big Shot. Um, this is heat embossed and I do have a video on heat embossing if you'd like to learn how to do that and we use the stamp set for most of this card um, called creative elements I've used some pool party um, some crumb cake and Calypso Coral and Stampin' Up! has just announced that they're going to bring these two colors um, back into our main color schemes. I'm really excited about that. And then Teeny Tiny Wishes is a great greeting set that you can just use on almost any card. The focal point is what we're going to really focus on today. I'm going to show you how to take the soda pop tops and smash them and how to make this really cute little scallop um, daisy out of the scallop circle punch. So let's get started. When you get the silver soda pop tops, you get 16 pieces. Eight of them are the bigger soda pop tops, and then you get eight that are the little baby ones. Let me show you those. So um, that's what you get, and I'm gonna show you how to play with this big one right now. You can smash big and little ones through the Big Shot, um, but we're gonna do the big one. So I have my soda pop top and my Big Shot. I'm using the platform with no tabs, and then my two cutting plates. Now, if you want to um, run it through face down, or I call that belly up, you can do it either way. I do think face down, you might maybe get a little bit um, flatter, even image, but really both ways are gonna work. And so that's now in there, and I'm just running it on through. Now you can see how easy that was to run through. It really was not, it was not a struggle at all. And now that soda pop top is flat and really nice to be able to put onto a card. Now let's get the middle decorated. All right, I've got my crumb cake ink and we're going to um, work on getting that middle image built. I've used the outline stamp. This is called um, Collage Curios stamp set. And we're gonna now go over the top with that. Now don't worry about that I got outlined. I'm not gonna worry about getting outside the lines because we're going to punch that out and we're gonna just make that go away. I can tell you, I think in hindsight, I would have bought this set in clear. It would have just been a tad bit easier to line up, um, but that's just, that's just saying. And so now I have this and I'm gonna take my one inch circle punch and get that punched out. I decided to do the butterfly on this one just to change it up because there's a lot of cute images that you can do with this. And now this is where glue dots are gonna be our friend. I'm going to take my um, image and use glue dots to get that adhered. Now, let me talk to you for just a minute about this cute scallop circle. I'm using the scallop circle punch and I'm punching out um, pool party. And now we're just gonna take the paper snips and I am just gonna come alongside here and just go in and do little notches. And you don't have to worry about going too far in or not far enough. We just wanna get these sliced apart so it kind of gives it the look of a daisy when you get it stuck down onto your card. All right, we're all the way around. Okay, and now how to get our image stuck onto this cute little daisy piece. Um, I am going to use Stampin' Dimensionals and that is gonna give us enough height that it will hold down. With the image smashed down, it still does lift up a little bit, so you kinda of need a little bit of height in there just to get sticky to get it down to your card. And now it's stuck on there so nicely. So when you go to put it on your card, it's gonna lie flat enough that it's gonna go through the mail a lot easier. So really, that's a good reason why you'd wanna smash your bottle caps down. Great for scrapbook pages and embellishments and all that. So I hope you had fun learning how to do that today. And come find me at livelaughstamp.com. Thanks.